Hello everyone! As you're really excited to see this video, I've gotten many requests on doing this look and it's Jasmine V's Just a Friend hair inspired look. This is my way of doing it and it's inspired so obviously it's not going to look exact exact but um, you can get the almost look like hers and it looks like this on the sides. Basically, you're just curling your hair and putting it up, and I'll show you guys how to do it. All you need is your straightener. I'm using my straightener. I'm sh I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, curl your hair with a straightener. You need your heat protectant, of course, and you need the hair ties like these. They're really small. You can get these at the dollar store. You can get them at Walmart, Target, anywhere, and you need a lot of bobby pins. And I think that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this whole tutorial, so let's get started with the whole look. Okay, I did a few of my curls with my straightener already, and it came out, like, really curly. So, um, let me show you. I'm going to take a little bit, because it, in her, um, video, I mean, in her, yeah, in the video and in the pictures, it's very, very thin. So I, you can take thinner than this. This like is about an inch. I'm going to take my strainer, and I did a video of this like a while ago. Like I think my first or second video. So I'll show you guys again. Um, you just want to take your strainer, clamp it to like almost to your roots, twist until your um, you see your strands hanging out which is right there. Like at 180, do a 180 or three, 180, yeah, because 360 is all the way. So you just want to go downwards, and I usually hold my hair like that, so I can glide it. And there it is, just like this, and if it's funky, then you can recurl it and you just want to do this throughout your whole hair I mean it's going to take a while if you want it to be really really curly so like I'm first. going to go ahead and finish straining my hair or curling my hair with my straightener and I'll be right okay. back okay so my hair is pretty thick and this is my fourth layer and my last layer let me see if you guys can see this okay and um, you, on your top layer well throughout your whole hair when you're um, curling try to get as close as you can to your roots and um, and just try your best to get I don't want you guys to burn yourselves but just try to get as close as you can to the roots this is my last layer and I'm going to take thinner thinner um, strands this time um, so it can show more I guess um, it's gonna be really really tiny so you just want to go really close curl outwards and I'm I just like taking my strands so I can see them they're hanging out and I'm just going to grab it and hold on to my hair while I'm just sliding it down it's gonna be really really curly yeah just fix it a little bit this looks retarded but it's okay if some looks weird and some doesn't. See? And um, just keep on doing that. I'm it's going gonna to take, take a while. I'm going to take it right here. Halfway. Right above your ear. So you just want to take it and make sure it's really, really tight. And then take your rubber band. Your rubber band right here. And just going to take another Tie section it. from the middle of my ear and just take that just like this and it's like about that much and just tie it with okay. another rubber band. So now I'm just going to take my hair like a bundle, like little ones, and just take it and place it up front. Here, let me do redo this. Take it, 
place it up front. And hers was kind of like towards the, um, her, her bangs, her, where, where her bangs went to the left side, but my bangs are to the right. So I'm going to have it over here and it's okay if it has like a little bump or something like that. It's okay. We're going to cover it up. So you want to take your bobby pin and just go ahead and pin that down. You can use like two bobby pins, but I'm going to use one because I'm going to add more. So on the same bundle right here, this is still my first bundle, I'm going to take the sides of it and I'm going to put it on the side. Usually you can make this messy, it's up to you, but I'm not going to extend it the same length. I'm actually going to do it, um, putting it a little bit back more, like making it look like so, it has layers. Um, the next part is I'm going to my side and I'm just going to take a little bit on the sides of the bundle again make sure it's a clean um, side I guess and I'm just going to take it and pin it up like that it's it's not going to be like this it's actually going to take a little loop like this and then pin up so it can have layers down here also so I'm going to take my bobby pin, just like that. Okay, so the front, I took my clipless little curler thing and I curled the front just to make it curly. It's easier to use my clipless because my straightener tugs on it and I don't want it to make everything fall out. So um, the back, just try to cover it with um, bobby cover it with your hair just make it all messy and you can pin it everywhere everywhere you like and I just took bobby pins right here and I just pulled my hair back and pinned it it's just basically the last um, strands of it you can just make it even more tighter um, put like use an X with your do the X with your um, bobby pins and stuff like that and your hair will cover it and I think that's about it I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope that it helped you guys. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!